everyone. Um, this is a movie that is going to help you understand how to take a test in SimNet. So you have the Windows test that's opening up shortly. So I wanted to show you the best ways to prepare for and to take the test. So first of all, I'm in Blackboard and I need to go to SimNet. But before I do that, if you look at the folder in Blackboard, there will be some guidance for you, some um, hints about how you can best take the test. And for each folder that has a test, so this one is Windows, but when you go to do the Word or the Excel or the Access or the PowerPoint, it will be the same way. There will be some guidance and then there will be a study guide. So the study guide is meant to tell you all of the items that are on the test so or concepts so that you can prepare. So once you feel comfortable, you go ahead and go into SimNet. So you always use your SimNet SimGrader button. And remember, always go to SimNet through the um, through Blackboard. So you'll get to your um, SimNet classroom. I want to draw your attention to this first group here. If you click on that, it will have practice tests. These practice tests mirror the actual test. So before you start taking the actual test, you should go in and run through the practice tests. You can do the practice tests as many times as you want. You can do a question as many times as you want so that you can really get down the concepts. But I'm going to go ahead and, um, oh yeah, I have to go to the practice test. Let me do this. Assignments. Let's go into the practice test. So I'm going to click on that. <clears throat> when you are ready to take the exam, you can take the exam. Now, <clears throat> you can only submit this test one time. However, you can save your progress and exit out of the test and come back in and um, complete it at a different time. So you don't have to do the test in one entire sitting. So I went ahead and made this test available so I can actually show you. So this is your uh, Windows chapter that had your ebook that you had to do your let me tries. But right to the right of it is the test. It's between Word Chapter 1 and the Windows. So we're going to go in here. You'll always see the due date. So this test is due June 8th at uh, midnight. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I'm going to begin. Now I can only take this test once, in other words submit it, but I can come in and out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and say take test. It's going to open up this I'm going to start the exam. You're going to see the clock ticking up here. You have an hour and 50 minutes while you're active inside the test. Okay, when you exit out, the timer stops and then you can come back. So let's say you have to stop, go to work, take care of your family, whatever. Look up and answer, come back in, the clock will stop. So the way that this works is very similar to your let me tries. Up here at the top, it'll give you your action. So it says change the zoom level for the document to 100. So I'm just going to click right here on this little line and I got that answer correct. It's going to automatically take me to the next one. Notice here I have three attempts. So on this one I'm going to make a mistake. Save the file to a new folder. So I'm going to do file, save as, browse, um, in the Documents folder, New Folder, um, Marketing. And this is a common mistake that students do. So I'm going to do Marketing, Enter. And then I'm going to come down here and type in Business Plan Updated. Now this is going to be wrong because I made the folder, but I never went into the folder, right? See, I'm still at Documents. So if I'm going to click Save, uh, it's going to tell me I'm incorrect. Okay. I have two more attempts to get this. I realize what I did, or let's say I don't. I can use these arrows to move to the next question. And then if I think, okay, yes, I've got, I remember how to do that. I can go back. So you can use these arrows to navigate. 
The other thing you can do is this line with the checks in front of it. You can click on that and it will tell you, here's all of the questions I haven't tried. Here's the one that I got right. Here's the one that I got wrong, but I still have two attempts. So if I click on that and load that question, I can go right back to it. So let me try this one to make it correct. So file, save as, browse, I'm in documents, new folder, marketing, now enter, but I remember I have to go into the folder, so I double click, I validate up here by looking and it ends in marketing. I know I'm in the marketing folder. And then I can type the name and save and I got it right, okay? So if I go back here and look, now my X has changed to a check mark. Um, so let's go back to my test, load question. So let's say I'm working through this and I come across something I don't know how to do. I don't remember how to do it. So I can just skip it and go on. Print two copies of the document file, print, uh, uh, copies to print good right and then I don't remember how to do that so I'm gonna do this I can then use this to tell me which ones I've skipped which ones I have right which ones I need to go back if you try it three times you'll have zero of three and if there's an X then you just got that one wrong okay I'm gonna go back to my test and let's say now I'm moving through here and um, I have to go. I have to go to work, I have to make dinner, whatever. So I want to stop taking this test so I can finish it later. Right here, do you see this X? You can click on this X, save progress. Okay guys, don't say end exam, save progress. Save the exam. It'll take you out, right? You can go away, do whatever you want. When you then have time to come back and finish it, don't forget to finish it. Come back in, do take exam. It's going to load up all of, and start at the question that you skipped, right? And so the technique is that you skip the questions that you don't exactly know how to do, or maybe you tried it once or twice and you didn't get it right, so you want to don't want to waste that third attempt. You can go out research it, figure out what you're doing. Maybe go back to the practice test or go back to your um, ebook and see how to do that step. Come back in and take it, right? It, this is an open book, open note test, right? So my goal for you is that you know how to do it. Not that you've memorized everything, particularly when we get to things like Excel. You know, there's a lot of things that, you know, in users that use Excel all the time, maybe they don't do a function hey, they look up how to do it. If you know how to look it up and find the answer, that's a win for me. So once you're all done, then you would submit your exam, right? End your exam and it's gonna be sent to grading, right? That um, will then, you'll get your grade back immediately and it'll transfer over to Blackboard. All right, hopefully this will help you um, navigate the mechanics of taking this test but once again if you um if you do your um let me go back into my simnet student if you do this practice test guys before oops it will help you with the content of the questions right so 19 in the practice test, there's 19 in the real test. They're, they're pretty much one-to-one, um, -one except different like scenarios, like maybe you're going to make a new, uh, a new folder, but it's a different name than the one we did, right? But the concepts are the same. So practicing your test before you take it will help you improve your score. All right, if you have any questions, email me. Um, good luck.